Hello and welcome to Types of Artist Paint Brushes and Color Wheel for Beginners. There are 15 assorted paint brushes in this set. Each paint brush has synthetic hairs for the brush tip which are dyed to match the color of the handle. Each handle has the size of the brush tip. There are three different sizes in this group and each paintbrush has the name of the brush shape written on the handle. As you move up the handle here, there is a no-slip rubber grip which you can feel with your finger through the package. The rubber grip allows you to place the paintbrush in your fingers and while you're painting, it will easily stay in your hands without slipping out so easily and it is very soft. Okay, now the shapes of these assorted artist paintbrushes are, you have your round tip, great for small details because it comes into a very small tip. Then you have three different shader size paintbrushes which go straight across. This is great for filling in wide or large spaces after you do your detail work. This is a fan shaped for wide brush strokes. There are two, a small and a large filbert paint tip brush. This brush is rounded at the top and this is great for doing lots of areas of painting. Then you have a, you have two blue, but you have a longer brush tip, which is called a script. This is great for maybe making large words and signing details or squiggly lines. And then you have a smaller brush tip, which is linear brush tip. This is great for details, lots of details. Then you have one, two, three, four angle brushes from small to large. These are great for making angles while you are painting. On the back of the brush set, there are colored brush strokes. These brush strokes match the color of the paintbrush. There is a script. This is a long brush tip allowing you to make lots of long, squiggly, detailed lines. The next is a filbert brush. The filbert brush is rounded, great for making flower petals. The next is a fan. It's fanned out and it's very thin. This allows you to make wide brush strokes with detail. Next is called a wash. This paint tip is straight across. This allows you to fill in large areas or if you want to do body painting or paint an entire surface and fill in the area. Then you have a very small linear brush and this is a very small tip. This is great for making straight lines and doing lots of detail work and outlining your shapes. Then you have three round brushes. These are great for making teardrops where you press down and then pull lightly upward to get a great point. Then there are four angular brushes. You can see where these angled brush strokes on the edges are very angled and then you can make little arches and bridges with this angled brush. And then the last is a flat brush. This is just a smaller version of the wash brush. At the bottom of the package, there is a basic color wheel consisting of 12 different colors. This color model is based on three primary colors of red, yellow, and blue. These are your three primary colors. Then there are three secondary colors of orange, green, and violet or purple. And in between the primary and the secondary colors, there is a tertiary color which is your third color. There's red orange, there's yellow orange, there's yellow green, blue green, blue violet, and then red violet. When you take two primary colors 
red and yellow and mix them together, you'll get orange. When you take a, a primary yellow and a primary blue and mix it together, you get a secondary color green. When you take primary blue and primary red and mix it together, you get a secondary color violet or purple. And then when you mix primary and secondary colors together, such as red and orange, you get red-orange. Again, when you take a primary color and a secondary color of yellow and orange and mix it together, you get yellow-orange, a tertiary color. So that's how you fill in all these colors around the wheel using just three primary colors. And later on in this video, I'm going to explain the red, yellow, and blue color model for this color wheel. And brush care. If you're using oils, you're going to use a cleanser, soap and water, and then after you wash and clean your brush, you're going to reshape the brush with your fingers and then allow it to dry. Then for your acrylics and your watercolors, all you're going to use is soap and water, and then you're going to reshape again all your brushes with your fingers and then put them on a napkin and allow them to dry. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I am going to open up this paintbrush set and I'm going to practice using the different kind of brush tips to show you some of the brush strokes that they make. And then we're going to get into the color wheel. Now I'm going to demonstrate the different brush strokes using different brush tips. The first brush that I am using is called a script. It's the long brush tip and I'm just going to demonstrate how this could work. You could go different ways you can use it. And the next paintbrush is called a filbert. I'm going to go in here with the wide, large. I'm going to come in and to show you how a wide brush stroke what you can do with that. Now let me saturate the brush really well on both sides. Okay. Let's see if we can make a petal or a leaf. Now I'm going to double load the filbert brush with yellow on one side and blue on the other. Let's see what we can do with that. And now the smaller filbert brush. Next is the fan tip. I'm going to come in here and put some yellow on there. Maybe some green on the other side. Let's see what we can do with this. Make some great texture with it. Down. Just, there's the wide stroke. And fan it into a thin stroke, or you, this is good for doing texture. You need to do some texture work. And next are the three wash brushes. This brush is straight across the tip. So this is good for filling in large spaces. And then the smaller wash. And then you have a much smaller brush. Now the linear brush, which is a very small brush with a short little tip. You can make some lines. Or stars.
or you can do little dots. Just any kind of detail work that you need to do. You know, you can, this is great for a detail brush. And the next brush is the round brush. There are three of those. Let's get some color on the brush here. So this is a pointed brush at the top. So it's kind of coming in thick. Pull. And then lift the brush and spin it. You'd have to just practice your brush strokes. But these are these are the kind of strokes that this makes. need to. Okay, let's try a small one. Make a petal. I'm not very good at this. Come out and lift. Push down and lift. Okay, let me do the smaller round brush. I'll do a darker color. I'm going to try to make a petal. So I'm going to push down and lift. Whoop. Push down and lift. Push down and lift. I'm not really good at this. I'm a beginner myself. And the last four brushes are the angle brush. So let me demonstrate making some angles with your paint brush. Let's see if I'm good at this. Let's see if I can start here and bridge. Let's see if I can make an angle. So there's, a, there's an angle. You needed to make those angles. I need some more paint. Let me double load my brush with two different colors and see if I can do any design work. Let's see. Let's do. Okay, a little orange in there. down. Okay, it's kind of working on my pedal there. Not very good. Angle. 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 So those are the different size brushes of the angle brush. And then we have two more sizes. I'll come in here with some violet purple. Make my little angle here. Let's do an angle inside this one. So these are great for coming in here. If you want to start painting, get in there and get these angles here like that. Paint around your shapes. Okay. And then the last is a very small angle brush. You come in here. Easy to work with your angle and come around. Make your angle lines. Here I have 12 circles around a wheel. This color wheel, which I will explain, is based on the colors red, yellow, and blue. With three colors, we can mix those together to come up with secondary colors. Then when we mix the primary and the secondary colors, we will come up with a third color, which is called tertiary colors. When you take the color red, yellow, and blue, which are 
three primary colors. These three primary colors represent this color wheel that I'm going to explain. When you take red and yellow, two primary colors, and mix them together, you end up with an orange secondary color. When you take yellow and blue and mix them together, these two primary colors, you end up with a secondary color of green. When you take blue and red primary colors and you mix those together, you get purple. So here you have three primary colors and once you mix these together, you end up with three secondary colors. When we mix these colors together, primaries and secondaries, we will get tertiary colors, which I will explain in just a moment. The color white, the color black, and the color gray are considered neutral colors. When you add white to pure colors, you are adding tint. To the colors. When you add black to any of the colors, you are adding shade. You are shading the colors. And when you add gray to any of the colors, you are adding a tone to the colors. So white adds tint, black shades it, and gray adds tone. Okay, the first color of the color wheel based on three primary colors. The first color is red. I'm going to give you primary color of red. The second color is yellow and it will be evenly spaced around so it's going to, we're going to skip three and we're going to add yellow here. This is the next primary color. And then the last primary color, we're going to skip three, one, two, three, is blue. Here are your three primary colors of red, yellow, and blue, and notice they are evenly spaced around the color wheel to where you could make a perfect triangle. If we take red, some red here, and a little bit of yellow, and mix it together, we will come up with orange. This is the secondary color. If we take the primary color yellow and mix it with blue, with the primary color bl blue, we will end up with green. We we'll probably need to add more yellow in there but we will end up with a green secondary color. When we take the primary color blue and mix that color together with red, we will end up with a violet or a purple. This is a form of a violet. Probably have to add a little bit more blue in there, but this will give us a violet or purple color. So now we have our primary colors of red, yellow, and blue. Mix the primary colors together to get orange, green, and violet. Now when you take your a primary color and a secondary color and mix those together, we'll end up with our tertiary colors. So we're going to take red, a little bit of red, and mix a little bit of orange together. We end up with a tertiary color, which is considered red, orange, tertiary. If we were to take yellow, and add a little bit of orange. Oops, I got some blue in there. We end up with a yellow-orange color of a tertiary color. Yellow-orange. That's a tertiary color. 
Now, if we were to take yellow and mix that color, green, we would end up with a yellow green tertiary color. We take our primary color blue, right here, just do a little bit there, a little primary blue, and then add some green to it. We will end up with a blue green tertiary color. Now this is how you end up with blue green tertiary. And then when you take blue, a little bit of blue, if you take blue and then add violet, you end up with a blue violet tertiary color. Now we're going to take a little bit of violet, which is purple, and we're going to add some red to that and then this should give us what is called a red violet tertiary color and that is how the three primary colors blended with secondary colors end up with the third tertiary colors if I were to draw a line from this red down these colors here on this side will be considered hot and warm colors. These colors here on this side would be considered very calming and cool colors. And if you'd like to know more about the color wheel, just look into reading up on basic color theory. I do hope you enjoyed learning about different types of artist paint brushes and learning a little bit about the color wheel or basic color theory. And check out my makeup tutorials on my channel. Please subscribe and click the little gray bell icon to receive a notification of my next video. And thanks for watching.